10 minute daily reality check coming at you super bowl hangover for all you patriot fans oh i am so sorry i was telling a patriot fan of mine today a friend greg right he's a patriots fan yes he's is he a he's a bandwagon he's a wagoneer no no he's a real grand wagoneer man he's like the real patriots fan he grew up in boston oh really yeah he's a big massachusetts guy so uh yeah, he's he's a real he's a real Patriot fan. But I was telling him today, I go, oh, so sorry, so sorry. You're five and three now. It's like five and three. You have like this like you've you like a, a record in Super Bowls. You're five and three with Brady. It's like how would you like to be a Jet fan? Yeah. Right. Where you're like, let's see, 1969. I was still thinking about I was cl- I was still thinking about childlike things and not Joe Namath at that time. Yeah. Right. So we were talking today, right, about holders versus letter goers Mm -hmm. you and i have a letter go mentality right we're like fuck things how can i let it go all right i'm not reading this book i'm gonna let it go i'm not making money in this stock i'm gonna let it go but we're looking at all these people that are holding on to bitcoin like it's the you know the greatest thing in the entire world which it might be we don't know nobody knows right nobody knows the value of a bitcoin right And you have all these people riding it down. I think the last time I looked, it was $6,700 down from a high of $20,000. Now, I believe in cryptocurrency. I believe in the market. I I believe in that you can make money daily in it. I believe that there are certain ones that you can buy that you probably make money long term. But I'm sure as hell not going to be that person fucking holding it at $20,000 and then thinking it's going to go up to $100,000 without it going down first because everything that goes up like a rocket ship goes down like a rocket, goes down like a rocket, Right. What is it? Why do people feel, and they don't learn from it, Obi. It's like, remember the dot-com crash? All the holders, right? What happened to all the holders? They all lost money. It's like, I got no problem long-ranging things because I've not held on to things long-range. Yeah. But what comes up must come down. So why not just sell, take your profits, right? And then let it come crashing down and then go buy somewhere again and ride it back up again. What's wrong with riding it back up two, three, four, five, six, seven times? I don't know, man. It's just different people, different personality types. It actually makes me. I talked to uh, a friend earlier. Uh, you know, Buddha or Buddha? Oh yeah, yeah. We talked earlier, and we were talking about something very similar, which makes me curious about what you are. He was talking about people. We were talking about work and how we work. And there's some people who are plotters. Plotters. They're like plot along every day. They do like maybe a little bit every day until the thing is done. And then they're done. And then there's bursters, people who just get things done all in big bursts, right? I am a burster. I go, I put my head down, and then I'm like, <laughs> and it comes out. I always try to make myself a plotter, try to do a little bit at a time, and to do things like that. And I just can't. I just, it's just not my personality type. And so I'm thinking, like, as a person who likes to, who really likes to go for a thing and then do it all in one big burst. I also noticed that maybe that's like, there's like some kind of, there's like an intensity to it where I can like, or something about like it being really intense and exciting and fun to me in that way. And I think that's kind of also like letting go. Like you have to be able to like not, I think people who who hold on to things are thinking on them from like a very long, long projection, a long term type thing, as opposed to like right now and in the moment, you know, and some people are more in the moment. And I think that's kind of like, I don't know. Would you say that an in-the-moment person uh, and a long-term person, can you see how that's maybe I'd be like, there might be some kind of relation even how they work or how they, in other parts of their living, you know, like beyond, like just cryptocurrency, for example? I mean, you know what I am. I'm a burster. I'm yeah. not a plotter. Fuck. Put a deadline on me and I'm fine. It's yeah. like, it's like, yeah. but if there's no deadline on me, I'm not going to do a little bit each day. Yeah. It's just, boring to me yeah i want to know that if i gotta if i gotta do something by friday oh fuck i gotta do it by friday okay okay i gotta go record right now and i gotta go do this and i gotta do that and and i gotta do this and and and, uh, yeah i'm I'm a burster all the way and that's probably the reason why when i look at investing i'm not a plotter it's like you said it you know the plotting is boring to you oh right so i think that the whole long-term play is also pretty boring to you because you're not doing anything you're just sitting and you're waiting for something to happen as opposed to if you're in and out in and out you're making something happen. And I think that's more of your personality type. 
Yeah, it's so interesting because I do like the in or out, in or out. I really do. I, I don't, like I look at the crypto and I'm studying the charts and today I saw one play in Ethereum. And of course I wrote it down because I'm really, I'm doing paper trading, right? Okay. And it was the right play because I saw it fucking bounce and then I saw it go down a little bit, but it was a higher, it was a higher low. And I was like, I would have entered at this point. And I think there was about a 40, 40, $50 swing upwards yeah. past that point, right? You know, that was clear 40 or 50, even if it was 20, I'd rather take a little bit, but I also, if I'm going to go long term in something, the price has to be where I want it to be. Yeah. And if I look at something like when I saw Bitcoin at 20, I was like, mm, doesn't make any sense right now. Because nobody knows the value of it at all. Nobody does, right? It's all hype. It's the value is because we all say it is because it should be 100,000 because they're not mining anymore. And what the fuck are these miners actually doing, right? And everything else. And great, wonderful, okay? And I do see how it's going to change. And I love the, the changes and the technology behind it, I think, is unreal. But that's plotters. Plotters are actually doing the technology. Mm -hmm. I'd rather, I like the bursts. Yeah. I do. I get off on the burst. There's an excitement to it. And, and that's like also when it comes down to any investor. Like there's the investors that are long-term investors and they can ride it. There's a friend of mine had it at 20 and he lost a half a million dollars, he told me, over the last you know month. And he's fine with it, man. He's enjoying the ride. He goes, don't come in if you don't like the ride. But then there's another guy that I've been watching and he's a burster, man. You yeah. can see he's like, this is the stopwatch. This is what we're going to take it to. He's in or out. And then he puts his money elsewhere. And I think that's where it gets really interesting. We talked about that earlier. He's like, I'd rather skim the money. And other people are like, well, they don't want to pay taxes. I'd rather pay the taxes, skim the money, go buy myself an M sports car, put it on Turo, have that car paid off, go take my other money, go buy a condo somewhere cheap, go rent that out. It's diversification. And I think that's the biggest thing. I think these people that are all or, all or nothing in, yeah. they're not diversified enough. Because yeah. if you're diversified, you're really taking a little bit of the pie from a lot of different sources. And I think that's the biggest, I think that's the biggest thing that I think my mentality is. Otherwise, I feel very, I feel anxious staying in things. I don't know about you, but it's like, I'm, <laughs> it's like an anxiety. It's like, I don't think about it, right? But it's like, I think to myself, oh God, I'm stuck in this thing long term now fuck well if it never goes up it never goes up but hey whatever you know i mean i lose yeah. some money right but like oh now i gotta wait for it and i gotta wait for it when i could have just shaved and then i could have watched it go down and shave some more so i think you and i have that same thing it's like there's no fun in there's just no fun, parking it and waiting yeah yeah you want something you want you want to feel like and you also want to feel like you're doing something like you're involved right like i think if you just kind of get in and you hold there's no involvement you're not really doing anything. You're just kind of sitting around waiting for something. It's like a reaction, right? And I don't think you're a reactive person, right? Like I think that a person who is uh, proactive would rather be in there playing, seeing things. It's like, oh, I got to say that. I'm going to do that there as opposed to just waiting for something. I mean, and what is that thing though? Because I don't think that, you know, a plotter or a holder knows where they're going to get out. Do they know where they're going to get out? They're going to no. keep... They're going to keep waiting for something to get even higher and higher and better and better, which may never come. <laughs> right. But a burster, right? A burster looks at it and we analyze the shit out of it. Like we're looking at things and looking and going, wow, there's like an opportunity a day to make some money. Yeah. And it's fun. It's more, you know, it is, it's more engagement. I think it comes down to the people. It's the same way in life. I prefer to engage, you know, I prefer to burst my time with somebody. I enjoy to burst my time in, in projects. Otherwise, it's just ugh, the plotting of life. It's just like, I get so bored. Oh my God. It's like, I hear other people's life and how they're plotting along. It's like, when I'm working on something, I'm in, man. I want to I want to work on this. Yeah. You know, I'm like ready to work on this. Plotting is just, uh, it's like watching paint fucking dry. And it also takes a mentality of like, I'm okay that I lost. I mean, the stock market, as of this recording, Tonight, stock market went down 1,175 points. We don't know what it's going to be by the time you listen to this. It will be tomorrow. And I look at it as like thinking to myself, fuck, I mean, I would prefer if the minute the market went down last week, I would prefer to pull all my cash out of my retirement account, park cash on the side, make no money, and wait for the market to figure out what it's going to do. Yeah. It's more interesting than sitting and waiting. Here, here's my 401k. Just do nothing. And just allow all the swings to happen, right? Yeah. When I think you and I get off on like watching the trends and the swings because it makes us more active. We are active participants in our life. Yeah. And I think that says more than plotters. I think plotters aren't big active participants. No, they're just, you know, safe, go along, 
what you probably should do, maybe, you know, advice from other people that say, oh, you should hold or you should, you know, I, I don't know. I, you know, it's funny because at times I've, I've tried to make myself one. I just can't do it. <laughs> and so uh, I think I've, I've come to the, the striking realization that you are who you are. And instead of uh, trying to kind of change certain parts of your core, I'm not talking about like small things that you can change, but your core, you should like see who your core is and then uh, see what your, what your advantages are, right? The things that you're good at and things you're great at and then just like use all that shit. For, push it in the direction of what you want, right? So like if a person who's a burster, you can't, you can't hold. You're not going to hold in this market, right? You're going to use what you're good at, right? You're analyzing and, you're, and your intensity and you're going to push it towards what, what you want, which is in this case uh, profit. Gains. Yeah, it's so funny because it's so true because you and I were so close to our entry points and we were like, no, no, we're going to be plotters, right? <laughs> and like we would have lost like $300. Now everything went down and now we're at a bigger loss and like we're thinking to ourselves, 300 bucks is nothing <laughs> because we could have rebought with that same investment three, four, five, six times already and made the profit. That's why you have to, and this is all parts of life too, you have to figure out who you are. Are you a plotter or a burster? And there's nothing wrong. I mean, uh, plotters are fine. Mm -hmm. You know, plotters have to-do lists. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't. I have a, I, I have a, I know what I need to do today list, yeah. but I don't have that to-do list. I, I don't want one, you know, it makes me uptight. So, you know, I just know that I got to work out and I know that I got to be healthy and I know that I got to eat, but we are. It's like you got to figure out who you are. What is is Buddha a burster or a plot? He's a burster, it's right? A burster yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah, we were actually talking to each other and we were like, "Oh shit, we're both the same way." Which is like, you know, you kind of you attract the kind of people that you're like, obviously. And we were both kind of talking about different things and how, and uh, we we're like, "Oh shit, we're both this way," and we've been trying to make ourselves this other way for so long. But you know, I think it was like this weekend. I had, I was like doing a lot of thinking this weekend, but it was just like, yeah. Just, this is who I am. This is who you are. Like, there's like this great thing about accepting who you are and what you're, and what you are and what you're about. And then just kind of like, I don't know, I kind of see it as like a slingshot or something. You like sling that version of you towards whatever it is, the thing that you want. I feel like using that or doing those, like using your, your skills and your abilities, uh, you can achieve all the things that you want in the way that you do it, right? So a plotter, maybe in 50 years, they'll get that, that huge win or whatever that they were looking for by holding. Uh, yeah, but it seems like the plotters always seem to be the ones that give all their money to the bursters. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like the people, like there's stories of people during the dot-com days that held on, right? Yeah. And they just got destroyed, you know, I mean, when those stocks went up. And there were people that bought the house at the top of the market, you know, because they thought real estate would never go down again. And then they got hurt, right? And I think you and I, a burster, I think we also plot too. We also see when things are overpriced. Mm -hmm. And I think that's another thing. Like, I, you know, remember we had long talks about this when it was, you know, when just using Bitcoin as an example, we thought 20,000, we're like, no. Remember we kept having talks? Yeah. It just, the chart was too high, you know? And it's like, now it's like too low. Is it too low? No, you know, but it doesn't matter. It's like, we see this, but we're actually, I think bursters are also plotting to go in for the kill. So instead of us plotting and holding on to something, we're actually formulating our game plan and we're gathering information slowly every single day, like the, the brain dump that you did to me via text. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I like that, right? We are still doing a little bit every day, but we do it till all of a sudden all the ideas are finally bursting and then we're like, yeah, woo, fucking A, I'm going to write, I'm going to create, and I'm going to fucking take this on a wild ride. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're putting all the elements together and then you're like, all right, all right, push it all in, you know? Um, yeah, sure. Of course, not everyone is, no one is just exactly one way, right? Yeah. You have different elements of different things. But you, I think there are, there is a, a strong bias or leaning towards a certain way of being, you know? Even if you have some of the other stuff in there too. It's just knowing what those are. Okay, one final question, right? Are you a plotter with sex or are you a burster? <laughs> uh, funny thing, like, I think I'm opposite with sex. I think, 
I'm not just, I don't know. In my, in my mind, bursting is like, sexually is like, uh, you know, short lived. <laughs> it's like in and out, it's done type thing. No. No? No, I'm a burster. How so? It builds and builds and builds. Okay. And then I just burst and I got to have it. And then when I have it, it becomes this fucking like, woo, you know, religious experience, uh-huh. right? And then I got to, I just, it's not like, Every day, I'm going to have a little bit of sex, and that's going to pay off at the end, right? <laughs> With some great sex. Me, I think a burster when it comes down to sex is, oh, fuck. I may not have it for two, three days, and then, oh. boom, man, I'm going to okay. have some great sex. Yeah, okay. Then I think I'm like that, too. I just thought, the way I was seeing it, I was thinking more like per session. <laughs> if it's more of a burst or a, I think. It's always a burst. It always gets to a point where you're going to burst. I mean, you think about it, right? You know, sure. she's laying know. there and she goes, come, come, come. No, I don't want to. Yes, please. No eyes looking at you. Very, very sexy. Oh, my God. Look at me. Look at me. I'm hot. Ow, oh, 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 oh. And then finally you give in and come, right? So that is a burst. Sure. But then when does that occur? Is that 10 pumps in or is that? Not, not for you and I, <laughs> but, but maybe for one pump chump, maybe is it is. Or an hour in, you know what I'm saying? Like, who knows? Like, I think that's, I think that's a difference. That for me is a difference. Well, we'll leave it at that. Cliffhanger, cliffhanger, cliffhanger. Interesting week on the podcast. See you tomorrow.